Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and my name is David and today we're going to be doing another unboxing, our fourth one, of Board Game Bento. Now the theme this month is sports related, which is why I'm all geared up in one of my favorite um, professional teams, if you can't tell it's the Reds. Uh, so I didn't know what to expect. Uh, sports aren't a um, genre or a theme that's overutilized in the board game genre and when it is, it tends to be a flop. Now there are some good ones out there, uh, so I'm curious to see if they pick uh, some classics like First and Goal is one that comes to mind. That's a pretty good football one, but we'll see. Let's open the box up right now. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, make this a lot simpler than last month's. Alright, so there we go. Let's bust into this. So, sports. Alright, so the first thing that I see other than the packaging is a cup. Um, this one is Icon of Awesome Ball. Icons of Awesome Ball. Um, that's all it says. It's a cup. It has a place for a straw. Um, let's check this out. So it comes with like a ping pong ball. And so normally I don't open them up, but this one wasn't even sealed. And a deck of cards. Um, I'm going to guess it, it's going to have to do with trying to, oh, look at that, get the ball in the cup. Somehow the cards are going to uh, intermingle with that. But I guess you can say this is a sport. There's a dice in there too. But that is interesting. I've never seen that before. And what packaging. So that's the first one I would say. This is around maybe 10 bucks, $15 MSRP. Um, of course, you always get this little thing telling you uh, exactly what you're getting in the box. Uh, and the, the board game Bento little flavor edition is a chalkboard, like a scoreboard. So you can have some chalk and keep score on the sports related games. So the next one here is how I like to always say fighting fisticuff. Uh, Fist of Cups more of. It's a card game um, and uh, let's see, it's boxing, it has to be boxing, but there's like, um, you're seeing pictures right now, there's the Statue of Liberty on it, there's a kangaroo, it looks like a magician and a robot, so it's not your everyday sort of boxing. It has some kind of cartoony charm, so I don't know what that would be, but it would probably be a two player boxing game of craziness. So I would say that's another $10, maybe 15 again. Okay, so um, now these two games I do not have, uh, but this one I do, Bowling for Zombies. So they went with Bowling. Uh, so this is an older game. I uh, have this one, so I'll be giving this away to one of my good friends, or maybe to you, who knows, but probably a good friend because they put up with me doing the reviews, and trust me, that's a task in itself. So, uh, Bowling for Zombies is basically you have dice, and you're going to be, I'm pretty sure there's, um, there's cards and stuff, but you're basically just bowling with the dice. I, I, don't quote me on that. I haven't played it. I owned it, um, it because it was a gift to me, so it got gift to, gifted it to me twice. Uh, so, no, yeah, this is another $10, $15. So you're up to about $30 to about $45 right here. And here's the big box. Now, I would say that this box was a bit heavy, not crazy heavy. There's been heavier in, in the past. But this one is the first sports license game that we have and the last one that we have in the box and this is Icebreaker. Uh, I haven't seen many hockey games, and I've dabbled in uh, watching hockey. Our local um, te team, the Cyclones, Cincinnati Cyclones, has won the Kelly Cup multiple times, so uh, hockey here in Cincinnati area is, is decent. But Icebreakers looks to be more strategy. There's a puck in there, and then has, you can see the pictures right here, a um, actual rank uh, arena for the play, the ice and whatnot and it seemed to be kind of gritty i don't know how this would play but it has all the major um license on here the anaheim ducks and the uh blue jackets all that good stuff and i would say this one would run about 20 to 25 dollars maybe 30 msrp so you are getting your money's worth in this box it is up to you to say if it's worth it now is it a surprise um, worth the experience when it comes to if you like sports games? Or is, is it kind of one of those things if you're not into sports at all, are you going to like these games? That's the thing you got to kind of toss up in the air though. I think the experience every time you get one of these boxes is new and it, it's worth giving a shot. So I would say definitely um, something that I always will keep 
on my membership is continuing to build up my game nights by getting board game bento because like you like I just said I only got one of these games and I have a 500 plus uh, board game collection so uh, they hit on three different games so that's pretty much it I'm gonna wrap up today's video and I think this was a good box not one of my favorite but still an experience that I'm can't wait to experience especially this kind of cup thing this intrigues me so um, uh, be sure to check out Board Game Bento. The next theme is going to be a science theme. So I think as I'm shooting right now, it's around a week uh, or so that you can still get in and um, get on track and get the science theme. I think that's going to be a really interesting one. The sports one was pretty cool. Um, so go to Board Game Bento. They always have coupons to help you out to lower the membership cost. You can always uh, do, do one month, but you can go six months and get a higher discount and continue to get these themes for your party game nights. So I wanna send out a huge thank you to Board Game Bento for supporting the channel. It's always a highlight of my month when I get this box and do the unboxing for the fans out there. So thank you so much for that support. And I also wanna send out a huge thank you to the fans for watching today's video. If you're new, please click like and subscribe at the end of the video here. Would appreciate that. And if you're a continuing watcher, Thank you so much for the support. We love doing these unboxings, so stay tuned for even more. So until the next time that I see you, I've been Dave, and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You heard it here on The Game Vine. Bye, everybody.